Okay. So people have been asking how I did set up my Guardian, so I'm just going to quickly show that how I how I did it today. And so everyone can get a quick overview of just how it's set up, basically. So I, I roll a damage Guardian uh, using burning, basically, for most of my damage condition. Condition damage does a lot, um, can even surpass crit, um, crit hits on the, the zealot seconds. So I'll just quickly show how it's set it up. So first, uh, I there was a recent nerf to stacking in burning duration, so now I use uh, runes of the fighter um, instead of runes of the elementalist, which don't work anymore. They don't stack with zeal and the smoldering. Um, so, <coughs> so runes of the fighter on your armor, and then um, the weapon's going to be a just a normal sword and a focus and a scepter and a shield. And the reason for this is the sword and the focus does a lot of damage and uh, gives you a lot of defense. And you really need the shield's utility. And obviously the only real ranged weapon is the scepter. You can go mace, but uh, when you're trying to kite a warrior or um, any any other class really, if they, if they switch to range and you get immobilized or something, you're effectively doing nothing. And you basically use, have to use a break stun to, to do anything in the game anymore. So... Uh, yeah, the the trinket I use is the carrion amulet for the Berserker jewel. So it gives a whole lot of condition damage, and I do like the crit damage on it as well. So it's it's a good one. And so that's just about the stuff for the weapons. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anything more to that. Just you got the sword with the focus and the sh the shield with the scepter. And just make sure you, you just have some good utility skills. So obviously you have to pick Signet of Resolve. Actually, actually I'll go through the traits after. Um, retreat is really important on maps such as uh, Flow Fire and Niffle, the forest one. But on you know Kylo, you might want to drop it definitely for Hallowed Ground, especially if you're playing in the center. And you might even want to get a Staff for that over the um, Shield Scepter because... <coughs> Blocking off those roots is just really good for, um, you know, capping the points in the center. And obviously if you want to defend the catapult. Uh, and I used, to, to do my spike, you basically have to have a Bane Signet because uh, most people don't use Zealot's Defense because they don't actually realize that you can actually hit every single, every single uh, projectile w when you're using it. So I'll just show a quick example. Um, in the DPS place. Basically, what you want to do is, when you spike, you want to you want to use your Virtue of Justice, your Bane Signet, and your Zealot's Defense, pretty much all at the same time. So I'll just pick any target. So you use your Bane Signet, and as you're through it, you just go bang, 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 bang. It's not the best amount of damage there, but, you know, you get the point. Okay, uh, so the way you want to trade up... Uh, oh, yeah, I forgot about the rest of them. you, you got to use Sanctuary. It's, it's pretty much one of the staple skills. Sometimes you can take it out, uh, I guess, in the new one, the raid on the... The water one. I don't really play it much because it's not in the tournament rotation. But it's that's that's a good one to take out Sanctuary for, and you can bring something like... Um, you know, uh, I can't actually remember the name of it now. It's hard with the new skills and everything. Yeah, just bring something like uh, Hold the Line or um, the Save Yourselves. And even Stand Your Ground is pretty good for the Stun Break as well. So for the Elite, you have really two options. You have Toma Courage or Renewed Focus. Toma Wrath is pretty useless. Uh, it's, it's not like useless, useless, but the damage it puts out is just uh, negligible compared to what you can do with your normal weapons. Okay, uh, your traits, so... Your traits... Basically you want to spec out totally into Radiance. Um, because that's where you've got your, your high damage, or your high crits for the sword. Uh, you got... And, and that's where the condition damage comes in as well. And uh, you got the 10% burning from Zeal, so you got to get 20 in Zeal. Uh, just because of the increased burning duration, you really need that plus 20. 
uh, and yeah, so you get the focus recharge, which reduces signal resolve, resolve to 32 seconds, which makes it the best heal by far, like by a gigantic amount. So you want to get the plus five percent for the sword damage. Um, sorry, that's the focus, and this one's the signal. Yeah, the focus one is important because. Shield of Wrath defends against warriors and guardians when they use hundred blades and even assassins. Zealot's defense, uh, whirling blade, you know stuff like that. Um, it will block pretty much the entire thing, and that's really important because you can really drop fast. This build relies a lot on skills for defense, not just toughness. Um, and then you can go, and then I put zero points in valor. There's not really any useful attributes for this build in there, and it, it's just mainly for defense. And in Honor, I, I really like the Shield of Absorption, which actually is glitched at the moment, so you can either drop those 10 points in Valor and put them in Zeal, or um, change it to, I think there's, um, yeah, the Shouts recharge 20% faster, that one's a good one. The Shield of Absorption at the moment for this trait isn't really working. And the Virtues, uh, the Consecrations, uh, ground targeting is really important for because um, I can cast Sanctuary wherever I want it. Or you can use it for the 20% extra sanctuary and the 20% less recharge. So that's how I build the traits. Uh, some people are saying that you can just put a whole lot in toughness and it gives you extra precision. Uh, you lose power though, but it's it's a good one as well. Uh, so I'll just show you some PvP. Basically, I'll just go random PvP. I don't really like it that much, but it's okay. So basically the idea of what you're trying to do is, hold on, turn the graphics down because streaming is insane on my computer. There we go. So I'll just pick a non-water map. <laughs> Any but a water map. Kylo is a good one. So this is just the general build. Um, there's another. I have a specialized one. So this this works in for any any free tournament, any um, just random PvP game like this. There are other specialized ones depending on your team. So you can go more defense or more offense. Um, and I'll show you that after I, I just show you like an example of what you can do. So your main advantages are firstly over a warrior you have like sanctuary and um, shield of absorption so you can you can do some pretty good control tactics on uh, cap points like getting people off and you can in fact you can actually cap pe you can actually um, get rid of a shrine you get get rid of an enemy's control over a shrine uh, without them being able to do much. So you switch, yep, knock him down. That wasn't a very good one. He's obviously specced into toughness a lot. Just knock him off. Or it'll glitch and he'll be back. It's okay. Very frustrating. Heal up. Careful of his knockdown attacks. Notice I didn't use that with the knockdown, but it will recharge in time, so it's okay. In care of that. Whoops. That was fail. <laughs> Don't do that, otherwise, you know, you're gonna lose very easily. It's fucking fail. Probably could have killed him there. Okay, so you get a knockdown and hit him again. Burn my elite. Clock 
Never really had this problem, but basically the idea on the the cutter is to keep them off the cutter. So. Let's see the utility of the, the scepter. He can't actually hit me for a while. It's not the best fight to show, but he is definitely... Definitely tanked up for the... Um, the cutter, which is always good, like you tank up for the cutter and you can't die very easily, so. Retreat. He's gonna get ganked anyway. He's about to die, so it's okay. Billy Billy. So hopefully I can find someone else who I can actually play against who won't be a tank. <laughs> um, it's not bad against tanks, like you saw there it can still kill tanks, just uh, first you need to know their build and you know even, even I haven't played that much to know everything about the game. So at the moment, just going to keep the, the center cap point because um, we're definitely going to cap windmill. Wait, maybe we're not going to definitely cap windmill anymore. Oh yeah, we got it. Yeah, so basically if you cap two points, you always win against one. I think that's a very obvious statement, but if you go for three, sometimes you spread yourself too thin. Oh, I'm talking about 5v5, this is obviously 8v8. Or 7v6 but yeah if you if you just keep two points you'll just always always be ahead and you'll just you'll slowly pull ahead the entire game so that's good I'll just go roam and find someone to kill they're probably trying to there we go There we hit him, and then, and then they go invulnerable. <laughs> okay. Worst examples of all time, but that's, that's there's there's still a point behind it. I'm renewed. Okay, so now I'm going to show show the um other variation of this build. Which usually happens when we don't have a warrior or a thief in a 5v5, because you know you, you only have a limited amount of people, so sometimes you just can't find what you need. And then so I run a very different build. Basically, it increases the 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 amount you can spike, the speed that you can spike. So uh, for it to spike, you need a knockdown, or them to stand still. But we're, we're just going to go with the knockdown. So you can, you can either drop the Sanctuary or Retreat. I prefer to keep up Retreat. And you bring in Hammer of Wisdom. And basically that gives you two knockdowns so you can spike twice as fast. You switch out your... Hold on. And see this is because Small Ring wasn't nerfed so I still had that. And you switch out that. You have a Sword Torch and you have a Scepter Focus. You get rid of the Shield. Although the Shield is so good at utility, it's you just have to sometimes... Say, Sacrifice, excuse me. So, you really need to keep up your retreat because, um, you know, fighting, ch chasing enemies is, is important, especially, like, you can get them with the Scepter, but, and the Scepter does hit 1k plus per hit, usually. Um, but you, you still need to be able to catch them with the sword. <coughs> so what this does is it increases the, the speed that you can spike, because, firstly, you can use um, Zealot's Fire, which burns the enemies, which means you do all that extra, because you have to have them burning, you have to have them knocked down, and then use Zealot's defense. 
So normally you use Virtue of Justice, but because it's got a 30 second recharge, that means you can alternate with Zealot's Flame. And you can also get Zealot's Fire if they're running away and they're about to die, and you can just use it and kill them. Also, Cleansing Flame is really good, and I'm pretty sure it does burn. Um, I can actually go check. I'm pretty sure it burns. Yeah, see, it does burn. And it does a high amount of damage now, because it was so bad that they, they actually buffed it. Um, the only negative is, I'm pretty sure it reduces your HP, I think. Yeah, it reduces your defense. Yeah, okay, so, I'll just show a quick example. You basically, if you get up your hammer, and you basically want to, you want to hit with your hammer, and I accidentally clicked F1 as well, because I'm stupid. But you know, like, you, you hit a pretty good, decent spike. Um, but with the hammer, you get an extra 2.5k damage. I can't, I can't actually remember how much that one did, but generally, I, I think it's around 2.5k, 2, 2 1.5 against high toughness people. And, yeah, you can kill it in one hit because of the burning, but it, it's... Yeah, so, it's pretty cool. Um... Yeah, it's quite a long duration of burning, and yeah. So when you're when you're spiking and stuff, if if they're far away, you can just teleport to them as well, and then hit your your spike skill. So this reduces the yeah the time it takes for you to spike. And what am I doing? <laughs> there is a trait. Can't remember where it is. It re reduces the the recharge of your weapon spells by twenty percent, and you need that one. I think it's over the focus one. If I if I recall correctly, if this would let me out of the PvP. So I could change, okay. So, yeah, here we are, the spirit weapon. So instead, you switch it for the spirit weapon, and you're able to, to spike much more often. And basically, this is your defensive set. So that's pretty much all for what you need to do. Um, you know, there's loads of variations. You can do things in any way you want. And I'm just going to post this up on some forum or something, because a lot of people running defensive guardians and offensive seem to be much, much better, in my opinion at least. So thanks for watching.